it's that time of the year where I go through my 30 days challenges. Um, so you guys know the drill by now. You should be able to watch the previous videos and understand. Uh, so let's go through the 30 days for this month. For self-improvement, crafts, and fitness games, go ahead and turn on YouTube. And watch Jack. Just did day one for the 30 days, which is to complete a tornado plan. Um, so for tornado touches down, which does happen in Illinois, um, I have a few steps. I have just four simple steps to remember. First step is to go upstairs and grab our emergency bag and our radio, as well as our sleeping bag. Um, and I'll tell you the reasons why for the other two, but for the radio, it's important to have that so that we can listen to any weather updates or anything like that that can tell you when this is going to be over or when is it going to be touching down near you. And then another thing I would grab with the sleeping bag and the emergency kit, um, we need the, the emergency kit just in case any issues arise or something collapses or you need something that like uh, to emergency help yourself. Uh, after that, it would be to get move everything out of our downstairs closet. Uh, so we have like a big downstairs closet uh, um, that we can use as a shelter. So we'll just push everything out of the way in there, uh, throw it in the middle of our living room uh, that we have a nice space for ourselves. And then lastly, we use the sleeping bag or we can even grab our mattress if it'll fit in there and a try and cover underneath that uh, just to protect ourselves in case anything falls or anything like shatters or flies in that could hurt our heads uh so that was day one it's pretty good because it made me like look up like what do you do when a tornado happens i don't actually know that it's something you should probably know that and for those who uh wanted help on how to make their plan i recommend going to cdc.org uh, they have a tornado safety page that kind of lists out what you should do in this case uh, just kind of take it and adapt it for yourself so day one complete just got done with day two which is to create three new badges for the 30-day system and I already got some new badges and I'm kind of excited for them uh, so the first one I did I'm just scrolling through is another one for the worldly chef uh, we did hot dogs last time this time it's gonna be hamburgers so we got hamburgers from all over the United States and all over the world it's gonna be delicious and then after that we got guitar so uh, one of the badges you're going to do is you're going to learn how to play guitar by uh, testing out with rocksmith by learning out different chords learning to play the three major chords and so on and so forth lastly i did one for personal finance uh, so you can really start getting your goals ready and aligned uh, money wise so i think this is a good variety of different things one of them is a new experience one of them is to learn and start a new hobby and another one is to get your finances so that covers three different areas of your life um, which is good it's definitely got me brainstorming a ton of new badges and ideas for the 30 days uh, but I'll create some more later. So day two, complete. Day seven of 30 days. Um, for that day, I cooked the Alaskan dog. Um, so I couldn't find any like caribou meat or anything like that at uh, any butcher shop near me. It's kind of hard in Illinois. Uh, so instead, I just used an all beef dog, put mustard, I grilled the onions and some Coca-Cola, and I also read that some people like it with a little bit of uh, sour, or not sour cream, a little bit of a uh, cream cheese. So I decided to put that in and add it. Let's give it a try. That's good. I assume caribou meat's a little like more flavorful just because with the all beef hot dog I don't need to kind of overpower it yeah that's good yeah the sweet of the sour cream and the mustard it just it's really good I highly recommend it this is delicious so date seven is complete Day 
13. Um, so our challenge is to store at least seven gallons of water. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm going to keep my shelf here and I'm going to make sure there's always going to be at least seven bottles as our minimum. Uh, that way we don't have to crowd any more space. Uh, but yeah, so this is going to be our standard shelf um, with all this water. Just take it, grab it, whatever you need for a disaster happens. So day 13 is completed and I got the shelf at Target. It was only, uh, I'm trying to think, only like 20, 25 bucks. It's nice, it's sturdy. It's holding all these gallons of water. So, day completed. Day 14, 15, I don't remember. Uh, but today I made uh, some uh, New England style dogs with bacon, mustard, onion, sweet relish. And uh, I couldn't find any like New England style buns. So unfortunately, like these things are gonna fall apart with all the bean juice. I'm gonna make one for my girlfriend who was interested in it. So let's give this one a taste. Mmm. Oh, that's good. The sweet relish and the beans are kind of sweet. And it contracts with the mustard and the onions. It's good. It's really good. So I'm going to chow down on that. Day 14 or whatever. Completed. Day 18, which is to complete a 30, or sorry, 50 plus puzzle. And I did it. Um, I did only in 7 minutes, as you can see. And I was like, this is kind of fun. Let me see if I can do a 100 uh, puzzle. And I was like halfway through when I clicked. Uh, so my mouse, for some reason, I'm using like this uh, gamer mouse. Uh, sometimes when I click, uh, it actually takes me back a page. Happens on both my desktop and my laptop. Uh, so I was like halfway through it, clicked on the puzzle, it took me back. I was like, oh no. <laughs> and then said, I was like, ah, eh, just screw it. I'm not going to redo it. Um, so yeah, I did 50 and I did half of a 100 puzzle. And both of them are super fun. Yeah, I love puzzles. Um, I might actually up the value to a 50 puzzle. Uh, that way you're spending 30 minutes trying to solve it. Um, but otherwise, yeah, it's been a fun time. So day 18 completed. Day, I believe, 21. I'm going to mess up all these days uh, since I don't have my sheet with me downstairs. Uh, but today I made the Has Special. It's where you get potatoes on top of your hot dog, ketchup, mustard. Um, you're supposed to use like a specialized bun, but they don't really sell those in uh, America from what I've read. Unless you go to like a specialty store, which again, kind of suburban Illinois. We don't really have that many specialties. Um, but yeah, this looks pretty good. I just made the mashed potatoes in the microwave uh, just because it's kind of quicker for me to do that way. Just put ketchup mustard on top. Let's give it a try. And I expect good things from this one, especially since this is like what PewDiePie uh, recommends. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'll say that I made the again, I made the mashed potatoes in the microwave, so they're not the best mashed potatoes. But kind of like the buttery mashed potatoes taste pretty good with the pull with the opposite with the mustard and the ketchup. Overall, it's not bad. Is it as good as like say the uh, um, the uh, New England dog? No, but it's still pretty good. So day twenty one or whatever completed. So I got the tent in. It's just a little four-person uh, Coleman tent. It's a little sun dome so you can lift it up in the morning. Get some nice fresh air. And I'm not opening it just because these are a pain in the butt to get back in. So, you know, let's see in the back here. Oh, just the features. So yeah, pretty nice tent. Got on Amazon for only 100 bucks. So, day. For 
for day 28 I made some uh, West Virginia dogs uh, the recipe I said is said to use Hornell chili which I guess is uh, just a common can chili um, it seems pretty watery uh, a lot more watery than like homemade chili but that's to be expected for a cheap canned chili and then I just made some coleslaw made a crap ton of it for dinner later so it's just coleslaw chili and some mustard let's take a look to see how it tastes very messy I'm gonna have to eat this with like a spoon but yeah it's good you got the coleslaw sweetness with the chili the mustard always adds that tanginess gotta love mustard yeah it's good so day 28 complete just completed day 30 which is to plan the next 30 days um, and I did it it was pretty easily uh, so I did a lot of the older badges to try and finish them up and then I did, uh, of course, my five hot dogs. I upped it from four to five just so I can get through them a little quicker. Um, so I'm doing, like, the grilled cheese cheese dogs. I'm doing, like, the Peruvian dogs. I'm doing uh, mazes. I'm doing, like, the badges. I'm doing all kinds of things. So this is going to be a good mixture. And then as I continue on, maybe I can spread it out a little bit more, do more things. And next time, I'm trying to focus more on creating that website. Uh, just so I have something for you guys to do too. So that's it for the 30 days. Thank you so much for watching this video series. Um, again, I go ahead and download the sheet and give this a try all on your end. I know the website is something I've been talking about for a year now. It's just between school and work. Um, I'm a full-time student and I work full-time and I'm trying to do this YouTube channel thing just because it's somewhat of a break from, you know, coding and all that fun stuff uh, it's it's a lot but I'm gonna try and get through it, it through um, so guys thank you so much for watching have a great rest of your day